Welcome to All Time Chatter Podcast with Sudeshna Saha. Hello everyone, welcome to this new episode. For today's episode, I have two of my very special guests all the way from Scotland. So I welcome you here, Callum and Shannon. They are both the hosts of Talk This Way podcast. Make sure to check their podcast because it is absolutely amazing. I love, love, love their accent. I love their podcast as well. I'll be linking all of their resources down below. So in this episode, I thought to like invite them and have a chit chat about Scotland. They tell me places which as tourists, we should visit in their favorite place. And then also the BTS of podcasting, their journey and experience, because I always highlight on people's personal perspective and their views into their journey. So I guess like this will be a really fun episode. And without further ado, let's move into this beautiful episode. So first of all guys, I really want you both to introduce yourselves. Yeah, uh-huh. so we are Shannon and Callum and we are co-hosts for the Talk This Way podcast. We're based in Scotland, we're both 21 and we literally talk about everything and anything to be honest. So <laughs> Yeah, pretty much everything and anything. <laughs> So guys, can you both say something about your country, Scotland, all of the tourist attraction and everything what you like about in your country, you know? Yeah, one well, one thing that I really like about it is the really the landscape about it. Like Scotland is such a beautiful country and you don't realise that when you're sitting in like yes. Glasgow or Edinburgh. Uh, right enough, Edinburgh. Edinburgh's quite nice with the Edinburgh Castle and such. It's an, it's nicer than Glasgow. However, maybe the Glasgow's got nicer people. So <laughs> it's one of those things. But when you go up to the Highlands, like the landscape is amazing. Like it is easily one of my favourite things about the country. And we've got something called the North Coast 500, which Shannon has done. So Shannon's probably best to describe it. <laughs> Yeah, uh uh-huh. so the North Coast 500 is essentially like this long road and it goes like round the outskirts of the country, it's like right round it and it was absolutely stunning. We went to like where they filmed Harry Potter because like there's the viaduct which is like the bridge that they use for Harry Potter and all that so that was really cool and I was just watching Harry Potter for the first time when um, like we went up so I was like oh my god that's so cool but yeah I think for me um, it's probably just how friendly everyone is like I honestly feel like see when you're in town and you're in Glasgow you could literally walk up to anyone be like look can you help me or can you show me where this is and they'd be like yeah of course and I actually think um I think Glasgow was voted the most friendly city like in the world so there you go (laughs) (laughs) that's nice because you know like I always see pictures on Pinterest when I scroll down pictures of Scotland and it's just so beautiful like wow I know it really is (laughs) It's, uh, it's honestly a really, really nice country, and it's what I, I, I need to explore it like Shannon did. <laughs> so, guys, can you both tell me how was your school experience and every single thing which you really loved about any single experience in your high school or anything? Um. Well. <laughs> when we were in high school we were in like a really old building like the school was really run down and um they like built our like new school literally right next to the old school so when you were in class you could like look out the window and you could see like the builders like building the school it was kind of funny but it was really cool to be able to like transition straight into the new school in our last year um, so we were quite lucky we just made it in we almost didn't but we, we just made it in it was really cool just like having this whole new skill to like learn in but I don't really know like Callum what was your favourite thing about school? See I was 
say about their whole new school, do you remember doing an exam and all you would hear is the builders like in the new school? <laughs> yeah, like you just uh-huh. hear drilling and stuff oh, while you're so showing your exams uh-huh. and you're it's... sitting there like, how? Uh-huh. They'd have the windows wide open as well and you're sitting there like, how am I meant to concentrate here? Like, it was like silence, having like a million yeah. bees <laughs> inside the exam hall. Like usually if there's one bee, no one can concentrate, but it was like having a million in there with you. Um, I don't know about the school. I really, really liked the new school. I would say the best experience I had, I was in the school show in my last year, and that was probably the best that I've ever had. Um, that and kind of like the banter and you'd have with some teachers, like you'd be able yeah. to have a laugh with them. Like uh, me and Shannon talk about a French teacher who we believe isn't French, <laughs> despite her saying she's French. And um, like she she was so strict the first few years, but I started having like a bit of a laugh with her at the end. And I just really liked how it went from this person that was really strict to, okay, she's actually pretty chill. Yeah, yeah, really nice teacher. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice, like, do you guys have prom nights in school and stuff? Because we in India don't have any kind of prom nights. Ah, oh, yeah, no, we have um, a prom. So at the end of primary school, um, we had like, a wee, like, school dance. The end of high school, we have a prom. And then every Christmas, we have something called a Kaylee, which you've probably never heard of. It's essentially a Scottish, like, dance night. <laughs> where you do like Scottish dances and it's like group dances and like (laughs) it's really really fun Um, my friend um, she held a few for charity so um, like she booked out a hall and we were all there and we were doing like Kaylee dances and like we were having drinks and they're so much fun like I used to love the Kayleys but Calm do you remember (laughs) in like PE so in like gym class um, you'd practice the Kaylee dances for like gym and me and Cal were in the same class. Sorry, I'm laughing. It's just so funny. Me and Cal were in the same class, and um, we obviously paired up because you know we're friends, and we're like, let's just do it. And Cal, do you remember you chipped me up in the middle of the gym hall? Yes, yes. Hang is, it wasn't just you. So don't don't like think you're special. Like <laughs> I was, I, I was quite friendly with girls and boys, and. When we had to do our social dancing, dancing, it was girl with boy. It was just traditional like that. And Shannon was in my PE class, so I always went with her. But and we had like two P. We had a PE class, and then we had one with like a house group we were put in. And everyone used to fight over me in the house group, despite me like tripping them up and stuff like that when we done it. But I don't know about you, Shannon, but see first to fourth year, I hated social dancing with a passion. Uh-huh. It wasn't until you were older that you actually went, this is amazing, like this is some laugh. Yeah, it was so awkward, I think, when like we were first in high school, because no one wanted to do it. Like, everyone was like, ill boys, like, I don't want to <laughs> dance with a boy. Like, But seeing now, like looking back, I'm like, oh, I really just wish we went for it, because it was so fun. Mm. Yeah, 100%. See if we were asked to do social dancing now, I'm sure our friend group, after a few um, drinks, would be 100% up for it. (laughs) Heel toe, here we go. (laughs) (laughs) But we we didn't have any, I suppose, proms, like the whole prom queen, prom king and stuff like that. Um, In Sipria, we just kind of had awards and it was stuff like best lookalike and biggest biggest diva and things like that um, but we yeah. didn't have like prom king prom queen where you'd vote for your favourite like it was far from the American culture it was it's probably more like you yourself than what it was America yes yes for sure so if I ask both of you to rate your school and college experience between 1 to 100 how would you rate it oh okay um, I would say Oh, see if it was based on sixth year alone, like my last year in school, it would have been 90 to 100. But I I think the first few years in the old building kind of uh, brought it down. I would say, I would say about 65, 65 for me. That's quite low. 
I'd say for school, science <laughs> would probably be 80, but I think that's because I just pure loved school. I mean, looking back on it, I'm like, did I really love getting up at like seven o'clock every morning? Like, no, I didn't. But I'd say for uni, mine's is probably lower because I just I hate uni, man. Like, <laughs> I love my friends and all that, and I love seeing them, but see, this past year, it's just been so difficult. Aye. So I'd say my uni is probably like 70. Which is still quite high, but lower than that. That is, that's still an A. Like, <laughs> uni for me, see if it was my second year in uni was beautiful. Like, I, I'm studying how to teach kids and we got, like, to paint and everything in second year. And honestly, that alone put it up. They had such a nice teacher. The essays were, they were still hard, but they weren't too hard. Um, but then third and fourth year came around and it was time to um, get serious, I suppose. I, I would say 70 as well, I'd say same as you, which is weird because that's like off skill. No, I think that was quite low for skill. I'll, I'll give skill 75. Yeah. I, I think it was better than university. What about yourself? I'm actually curious <laughs> how like you would rate it um, in India. That's nice. That was kind of low for the school one. But like, if I would ask both the few to choose between any two things, money and free time, what would both individually choose? Uh, Probably <laughs> money, to be honest. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> I mean, if like, I had a camera on me and it was filmed, of course I, w- I wouldn't say money. <laughs> if we're being honest here, money. Yeah. Money. I think money <laughs> money helps you, you know. <laughs> money makes the world go round. Exactly. What, what about yourself? What, what would you pick? Many people like say, you know, free time because with free time you can pursue your hobbies and then you can get the money back into your pocket. Okay, okay I, I, like, I like that view. <laughs> but personally, I select money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like how honest we're all being. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would be one of the place where you both want to be now? Leaving your country, any other country or your dream place where you right now want to travel to? Eh, Disney. <laughs> That's a good answer, um, yeah. That, that, that was a very quick answer in my head. I was like, do I want to be Maldives or should Disney? <laughs> like, <laughs> I've got a few people on um, Snapchat and a few on Instagram that live in Orlando and Right now, Universal have opened a new um, roller coaster, and that's all I've seen in my timelines right now or on my Instagram stories and such. And it's the same like they'll either be there or they'll either be in Disney World. And me just looking at it is so jealous, given like right now I can only go to a pub, and that's only been for two weeks. Like it was painful during lockdown when you couldn't even leave the house. And they were on like it's a small world or Thunder Mountain having the time of their life as Mickey Mouse is getting a photo with them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For me, it's probably <clears throat> sorry, um, New York, but I'm going there at the end of the year. Fingers crossed if COVID lights me. But um, yeah, New York, I just think it's <laughs> magical. Like I just want to be there, you know. What about yourself? Where, where would Seriously, you go? Like- <laughs> I have New York City and Los Angeles in my mind. You know, like New York is so great that even like every single guest of mine always answer that they want to go to New York for sure. Yeah, <laughs> New, New York is a, an amazing place. I've been twice. I've been once during a heat wave and then once when it was snowing. So I've kind of seen both ends of it, and uh, it's it is really really nice. I I would say you have to see the snow though. A hundred percent. You have to see Central Park in the snow. It's just something else. It's beautiful um, in the snow. But uh, it's a city that you just have to see one day. It's it's uh, it's amazing. As Shan said, it's magical. Yeah. <laughs> like if I also would not say New York, but I also really want to go to Scotland. You know, Norway, the Netherlands. Like these three countries are like one of my favorite. If I leave the city behind, then Scotland is very beautiful, definitely. The North and the Netherlands, like really cold places, you know. It's really beautiful. 
Yeah, I've not actually been to any like of Netherlands or Norway. I've been to Sweden, Denmark and Finland, but that that's kind of the one that I've not touched wow. yet up there. Um, but if it's anything from the rest of them, they are really nice and I've heard great things about um, like Holland or Netherlands, um, I think it's now called, but um, it is meant to be like a really nice city. Um, Amsterdam, I remember actually. Or I was at Edinburgh Airport flying to New York and the guy in one of his shops was like, oh, where are you flying to? And I went to New York and he turned around to me and went, oh, you should go to Amsterdam. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to New York. Like, Amsterdam is like an hour's flight away. Like, give me a break here. Scrap New York, go to Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah, go to the dam. <laughs> That's nice. So, uh, as you all have started a long ago, your podcast, so I really want to know, like, what's the motive behind you both starting it together? Um, well, I think for us, like, we've always just, like, wanted to do something creative together. Like, we just love, like, we, we tried a YouTube channel and that kind of failed, so... We like, don't we talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, we can't go back into YouTube, so I was like, why don't we try a podcast? So I said to Callum, and Callum was like, obviously, of course, that I'll do it with you. So, but yeah, like, I've absolutely loved doing it. Like, and it's so cool, like, seeing the whole process of like recording it yourself, editing yourself, creating like promotions for like the social media side, and then like, like uploading it and all that. Like, and it's just so cool to be able to say, like, oh, I've got a podcast on Spotify and like Apple Podcasts. Like, it's just crazy. I love it. Yeah, I remember seeing it on Spotify for the first time being like, like, first of all, was that all I had to do to get that on Spotify? <laughs> and then secondly, like, no, like, that's <laughs> us. Like, that, that's really amazing. That That's us. Yeah. And right now, if I don't know about yourselves in India, but right now everyone in Scotland setting up their own, like, small businesses and they've got their own thing. So it's good to have our own thing as well. So, how far are you both planning to take your podcast, you know? Um, that's, a, that's quite a tricky question. I don't know. I mean, it's... There's a saying in Scotland, like how, how, what was it? How big's a string or something like that? Yeah, and it's basically just string, meaning... Yeah, yeah how, how long do we want to take it? How long do we need it and such? And, you know what? I, Looking down the line, I, I I can't see an end it like the now looking at it. Yeah. However, if you ask me that about the YouTube, albeit YouTube only lasted about five episodes, I would have said the same. So there most likely will come a time years and years down the line, hopefully, where we go, okay, right, this this isn't cutting it. But yeah. I hope I first of all I hope that's not the case anytime soon. And I hope that when that happens, you know, we've got something better to go on to together and creatively yeah i think like cam's right like i don't see an end date anytime soon i would love for us to be able to maybe even transition into radio which <laughs> i don't know how how that would happen or <laughs> when that i know the guy in cumberland old radio <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go <laughs> there's a way in. we can get away into an old, yeah. a wee small town radio <laughs> Like, honestly, I just love the fact that me and Callum have been able to, like, create a platform and, like, yeah, it's just so cool and I love it so much. And I think as long as we continue to do it as a hobby, then the sky's the limit, honestly. Like, we could go and talk for ages, so... Oh, 100%. <laughs> like, especially see when we've not seen each other for ages. Like, if we go to a house party, it would just be us talking for, like, an hour. At least we'd be like, oh, we've not actually socialised with anyone else yet. Yeah. <laughs> so I also like really want both of you to continue your episodes because those are great and I really every single time like I really love hearing you talk this way podcast like Aww. one of my favorite like, on my most played list you know on Spotify you have the most played I will show you guys it's on my first list of like podcasts like you, you guys are on my first list of podcasts I always Aww, every single you. again and again you know no, thank That's you so okay. Much. Thank you so much. Yeah, we, we appreciate it. And likewise, like we listen to your um, episodes and we really like, I really liked um, the shit. I can't remember the, for life me what it was called, and it was it was like the modern day Titanic. It was called, but I, I loved it. 
I guess episode twenty seven. Yep, yeah, that I think that I think that's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, if I ask both of you, what are the hardships you have faced while editing your episodes, and you know, actually, finally, you know, publishing your episodes individually, what would your experience be? <laughs> so, yeah. So, sorry, Shannon, I've I've got a good story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the first time I edited an episode, it took me hours and hours. It was the first ever episode, and I think this was maybe. About forty minutes, like it was a really, really long yeah, episode, it was long. and I spent hours and hours on it. And then my laptop just crashed, and I lost everything. <laughs> like, so then I went again, and then started editing yeah. it, and it crashed again. So ever since I've like not, and that was audacity. Ever since, like I edit it for about five minutes, and I save it, then I edit it, and I save it again. And it was just how long it took, and. I remember saying, Shannon, look, you need to do this. I cannot listen <laughs> yeah. to this again. <laughs> I know. I think it's been hard as well because obviously, because of COVID, we can't like record together. Or mm-hmm. so it's like being like we take a turn each week, and we've got kind of like different editing styles. And but I suppose like that's like a good thing because it's just like showing our personality more, like when we're editing and what I might keep in, Cal might take out what Cal might, you know, keep in, I might take out. So it's, yeah, it's good. I think it works well. Yeah, it definitely does. What the biggest hardship I've kind of faced is uh, trying to do it during university. <laughs> um, like, Sh- Shannon had really important exams, so I kind of took a bit on, because it was kind of at the end of my um, degree almost. I think I only had one assignment. And I already written it all, and Shannon was, like, Shannon was about to go into all these exams, yeah. hitting her left, right, and centre. And I was like, "No, what? You take take a few weeks off. I'll carry it." And even trying to do that, yeah. trying like remind myself like to post an Instagram story. Oh, it's Tuesday. We need to talk on Tuesday. Things like that. Like, and at the yeah. same time, trying like finish this last assignment. Um, that that's quite a wee hardship that I have faced personally. Um, just trying to do it. It is, it is a hundred percent. Try and keep the engagement up. <laughs> yes, like I also like DM'd, I guess, uh, Callum, and he said that Shannon is taking the exams right now, so we will be shooting after fourteenth of May. So yes, I was like, okay, whenever you guys are ready, I'll be ready to shoot with you. No. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I was glad to see the back of those exams. Let's just say that. <laughs> How's your exam been then? Yeah, I thought the first one was really, really hard and I was like, oh god, I hope I've passed it. But I got my results for that one and I did. So woohoo, I was buzzing. Um, and then my other <laughs> two, I've not got the results yet, but I think they went okay, so. That's nice. That's good, but. So if I was okay, so I posted a story and people asked me to ask you guys some questions. So my first question was that what would be any advice you would give to someone who is starting a podcast or who wants to start in this field, you know? I've got good advice. Honestly, Go just start it. Just yeah. start it. Don't put it off, just do it because me and Callum put it off uploading our first episode for so long and honestly just do it like it doesn't matter if it's not the best quality it doesn't matter if you've not got an Instagram set up just do it like that is the hardest step is starting and once you've started it will come like yeah that's my advice (laughs) yeah I I would 100% agree with that as Shannon said we put it off a few it was a few months our first episode actually it wasn't just like a few weeks or such I think we went to do it in October and we didn't actually get around to it until about the turn of the year and yeah it was just I think one of us messaged each other saying are you, are you still good to do this like because we weren't actually sure but I, I would say that and I would just kind of from the editing element I would definitely look into like what editing software and stuff you'll use and even even if you don't want to edit it just know what you're going to talk about like 
oh, go, go off on a tangent, I suppose. Like, just sit with a mic in front of you and just go off on a tangent, actually. Because we find sometimes that's our best episodes. Yeah. Like, the unstructured ones where we just talk to each other and the most random rubbish comes out of our mouth. <laughs> it's for sure, like, when someone wants to start it, I like when I was also starting it I never cared about any kind of plays or money I just wanted to like start and talk in front of the mic because I love talking and I also love inviting new people and talking to them so just start it because if you really like it you will love doing it in the future also yeah yeah 100% I mean we've not looked back (laughs) so another question was that how do you guys keep an engaging audience you know like some people uh, get 400 plays at a time and then the plays just reduce to 100 so how you guys keep an engaging audience from time to time and keep on increasing your plays um i would say a big part of ours is instagram like what i wait at the start and this is an all one for just go for it because you'll learn as you go i wait at the start i think we only put one post up and it was maybe just like, oh, new episodes out, and then they're like, right, okay, we need, like, we're only posting once a week here. Like, let's try and pick up. And then we started putting audiograms up, just like snippets. And then it was like, okay, well, but we're still like inactive for about three or four days a week. And then at that stage, we're like, right, cool, let's put in like cute, like question answer things. Let's put in quick, like weekly quizzes, things like that. And it was just that way to be like, hey we're still active you know like here's a podcast but here's like a quiz based on a podcast and we're actually meeting up later on today to kind of discuss new ideas as well so it's about keeping that wheel going and not even reinvent the wheel but like add on to your wheel and start going on like other people's wheels like we always got told in uni in terms of teaching not to reinvent the wheel like just go on it and I'd say it's the same things, like, go on the wheel, see what works for you and use that, really, to keep up your engagement. Yeah, a thousand percent. And I would say it is really hard, like, to mm-hmm. build up any following, especially because there's so many podcasts. Like, yeah. you have to look at what makes you stand out. And I think for me and Callum, like, we really want to build this into a brand, which is why we're branding the whole Talking Tuesdays. And making our uploads on Thursdays so it's talking Thursdays and just like little stuff like that that makes us unique and honestly it's really hard to draw listeners in I think it it goes with time do you know what I mean like time is your friend with a podcast the more you grow the more listeners you'll get like it's just one of those things but yeah yeah 100% needs to be an element of patience with it like (laughs) even looking back at our first episode we like we hadn't even told our friends about it. It was just like one or two people and it was just trying to really push out to everyone and be like, hey, we are, we are here idea. And uh, we're, we're growing on lessons like weekly, we're growing on Instagram um, weekly and it is just stick with it, have a bit of patience with it. Yeah. And um, guys, we've got 10 minutes left of the Zoom call. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, for sure. That that was a really nice answer. Like I'm kind of like scared to ask both of you answers because you're bigger than me. So I feel like I'm kind of immature while asking both of you. But like all of your answers look so good. Oh, oh, thank you. Just all that extra life experience, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like uh, most of the times I'm always having someone who's bigger than me. So I always like kind of feel like nervous in front of them. But now when we start talking it just goes on great you know so if i would ask you what would be your what both of you have the, the, what is your biggest fear you know well <laughs> mine's just probably snakes yeah i'm the same i'm the same <laughs> However, there's a photo that I found of me a few years ago and I've got this massive snake around my neck and like <laughs> you can just see absolute, like my face is a picture because it's just 
you can see the fear on it. Like, I'm like, what is happening? Why is this in my neck? And you can just see me t- almost terrified for my life in the photo because I've got this massive snake in my neck. I, I would say, though, Shannon's is worse than me. Like, I said in New York that the, there's going to be snakes in Central Park. She's like, no, there's not. Callum. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, like, I'm cancelling my holiday if there's snakes in Central Park. Like, <laughs> well, Shan, know how that uh, bit of woodlands near you, the community park? Yeah. No, <laughs> you're just winding me up now. Okay. <laughs> Listen, whatever you think, if that if that helps you sleep at night. <laughs> yeah, it does. So. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, 100% snakes. Snakes. I'm also like kind of scared of insects and reptiles. These two things are my biggest fear. Yeah, they're just I get nice. reptiles, yeah, they, 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 they scare me. <laughs> they're just so weird. People are like kind of scared of heights, roller coaster. I'm not scared of those, but I'm scared of big reptiles and insects, you know. Crawling anywhere, I get scared. <laughs> yeah. I, I used to be really um, scared of like roller coasters and such. And um, I went on one for like the first time years and years ago, but the only reason I went on it is because it was uh, we were out with my friend's family and um, they had a younger daughter and I thought, right, she'll end up checking it out last minute. I'll take her away from the queue. And of course she was eager to get on and she did get on. So then I had to endure this whole roller coaster and I was terrified. But uh, thankfully I did because, you know, it was overcoming that fear. And uh, I, was ha- I was happy, albeit I was screaming, but I was happy. <laughs> So before moving to my last question, I also had this one thing. So you know there's a quote which says that could fulfillment ever be felt as deeply as loss? For me, I want to ask both of you that which emotion would you feel the most? Is it fulfillment or losing someone? Oh, that, that's, a, that's an um, question that I would have had in my RMPS exam. <laughs> yeah, that's a really philosophical question yeah. though. Um, I, I've been quite lucky. I've only like in terms of really close to me. I've I've been quite lucky. Albeit I've lost uh, my grandparents when I was really really young, but I've only lost like a dog like since primary school when I was like old enough to remember, I suppose. So I've been lucky in that way. But I can't imagine losing someone close to me. Like I honestly cannot imagine. I, I would 100% say that though, albeit that I've not experienced it, but I would 100% say like losing um, to fulfilment. Yeah, see, I think I'd be the opposite. Just because, like, like you said, like, I've not really experienced grief. Although I do think it would be really, really horrible and like, it would be such a, like, deep emotion, but I just think fulfilment there's nothing better than just doing what you set out to achieve to do and like just feeling like, amazing about it do you know what I mean and I just I'm I'm more inclined to focus on positive things than negative so I think I'd pick that see I'm trying to find the positive in everything as well but I just I, I, I just I just can't imagine but maybe when I'm in it and I've got the best of both then at that point I'd be like right okay fulfilment but I don't, I don't know how I'd react to it. I think it's more the fear of the unknown and the fear of yeah. losing it that I'm kind of thinking about here. But um, that's, a, that's a hard question, that. Yes. <laughs> yes, like I wanted to know what both of you, your answers will be. Both of you gave the different answers prescribing. I would also always go with loss because, you know, Fulfilling something is very different. I know we get very happy, but losing someone is like a greater emotion, which I would definitely feel. Yeah, I mean, everyone grieves differently as well. And like, for example, my dad, when he lost his uncle, like he just shut himself off. Like, was like, no, we're not talking about this. And that's how he dealt with it. Whereas like other people might just cry all the time. And it's really different and you don't know until you're in it. And yeah, but I, I'd still, I'd still pick the positive one. Yes. 
I made you both emotional. So <laughs> So I would ask you my last question to frame was you have done a lot of episodes so what was your favorite episode and how has your experience been till now for you know both of you making the episodes how far are you like how how can you like sum up your experience in words well my favorite episode was probably the tv shows one so that's where we picked um our top five tv shows and then we discussed them and the reason it's my favorite one is because callum told me about the office and was like shan you need to watch this and i watched it and now i absolutely love it so um that's probably my favorite episode what about you callum so if you ask me it's either the one about the office purely or the Scottish ghost stories one. Um, the office should let me talk about the office though, so I, I, it's got to be that one. I, I just love the show, so probably our top five office moments. Yes. So before ending, any last words which you both want to say? Um. Well. Yeah, just thank you so much for having us. It's it's been lovely chatting with you. Lovely to finally put a face to the name of the podcast. It's it's nice seeing you and yeah, just we can do this again. You know, more collabs. I, I love doing collabs with people. It's, it's so nice to just talk to people and other than Callum. <laughs> Callum. Thanks. <laughs> You want to cut the recording? Oh. <laughs> Just because we've got less than a minute. Right, are you all good? Yep. Okay.